Can we believe the latest Chinese GDP figures? Many Western investors have exposure to China, so what happens there matters. But if we can't fully believe the official figures, we need to ask what's really happening in China. If you are investing in China, whether directly um, in a business or whether through financial markets, these days. I think it would be better to look very specifically at the sectors that you're invested in, rather than at a broad GDP figure, because the connect between GDP growth figures and everybody doing better or worse, uh, I think we're past that now in China. It's the sectors that the government is going to give support for, which means cheap credit, easy credit. As opposed to those who are struggling、um, to borrow, maybe in the curbside market. So GDP means very little to businesses on the ground. A mini stimulus package announced earlier this year seems to have boosted the Chinese economy. So is there more to come? If they think that the economy is on track, growing seven point five, seven point six, they're not going to push it any further. They've made it very clear: quality over quantity. They just don't want it to crash. That's what the stimulus is about. So you can forget.、Um, wow, everything is going to be sort of、uh, back to 2008 when there was this this mega stimulus plan. So that's one part of it. But the other part is that from the fact that. Everybody seems to be saying the leadership seems to be saying there's nothing to be worried about. It's going to be 7.5. You know everything is fine. Well, there must be a problem because if there isn't a problem, why are they making such a big deal of saying there isn't a problem? So I think that it's likely they will do more in the coming months, but instead of the Targeted approach that they've been taking,、um, reserve ratio requirements for specific banks,、um, interest rates for specific sectors. I think maybe in a couple of months' time, depending on how the numbers come in, they may actually have to go across the board, a rate cut across the board, reserve ratio requirement reduction for all banks, not just for those that you like. And so on. I think that is coming up. So, if GDP is largely seen as a measure that's manipulated by the government, tracking the unemployment figures may give a clearer idea of when the Chinese government will step in with fresh stimulus. Right now, they have about nine to ten million people unemployed. That's a lot of. People sitting around thinking bad thoughts about the government. So、uh, I'm going to be looking at that figure, not the rate, because four percent, five percent rates are meaningless. It's the number of people who might actually be wandering around with a pitchfork. Now that matters. So I'm looking at this nine, nine plus million, and that's the official figure. That's the official one. So you extrapolate from that who else might be unemployed, underemployed. And if that number continues going up, I think the government will, you know, go big bang rather than targeted stimulus. China has announced reforms of its giant state-owned enterprises. Could these significant changes eventually offer Western investors opportunities? It's the whole system that needs changing because state-owned enterprises are part and parcel of the. Of an economy that is a centrally command economy, and to change that, you are essentially changing China, turning it upside down. So, in terms of investment, I would be, I would give it a bit of time before going in.、Um, let someone else make the mistakes first and lose their money first. See how it works, then go in.